<gasps> yes, it totally does. It totally works. Awesome. <laughs> so cute. I can't believe these things. Hey, everybody. So today I kind of wanted to show you guys how to set up the Razer Kitty Kraken headset. I'm kind of learning how to set it up as I go along with you guys because I haven't seen anybody make a video yet, or at least I couldn't find one on YouTube. I searched a little bit for a video on how to set up the headset with um, your live stream. I saw a video of how to kind of connect your Twitch and Streamlabs account to the Razer Synapse app thingy, but I haven't found out like how to do the stream settings yet. So I'm gonna try and show you and learn how to at the same time. So first step, you have to download the Razer Synapse app. Um, I already had it installed because I have the Razer Huntsman keyboard. So I already have that installed so that I can customize my lights on my keyboard and such and plug in this headset. It is a USB headset. Okay, so they lit up, super cute. Okay, so I plugged them in and it popped up with this and so it's starting to download and install whatever it needs to <laughs> onto the Razer app. Okay, so apparently it has installed that update that it needed to. And now you probably can't see. Let me show you really quick. There, you guys can see it. Okay, cool. So, see, it has added my Razer Kraken Kitty headset to the side. Um, we just updated Razer Synapse, the manual that came with the headset, because I know that there is an app that we do need to download in order to get the headset to be responsive to your alerts in stream and bits and whatever. So let's see if the, here it is. It was on this little card. It is personalize exactly which colors and effects are triggered on your headset with the Razer Streamer Companion app a Razer Synapse. So we need the Razer Streamer Companion app. Um, one thing about this is that um, in my previous video I showed you how to remove the ear cap thing off of this one to get your serial number. So you'll definitely want to register your product here. Um, definitely do that. I don't remember exactly where you go to register it. Okay, so see, here's the lighting, stream reactive lighting. Okay, let's click this because we might need to go get the streamer companion app. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Okay, it took us to streamer companion app. Okay. So you can go to razor.com slash streamer companion app or just click through like I just did. Okay, download now. So we're going to download that. And it says... It supports their microphone they have. That's really cool. It reacts to people's follows and subs. You can design different emojis in it or little emotes on it or choose from their preset ones. Kraken Kitty headset or um, this item. I don't know what that is. I'm not familiar with it. And then, yeah, you can connect your Twitch and Streamlabs to it. So once that's installed, go ahead and run it. So you can actually like install it, install it. Okay, select the software to install. So we are gonna choose obviously Streamer Companion app. Take your streaming to the next level with customizable lighting on your Siren emote, Kraken Kitty and compatible Chroma gear that reacts to your streams activity. A new level of audience interaction. Oh, whether it's a follow, cheer, donation or chat message, your audience can trigger emotes and lighting effects of your choice on your devices. Create your own effects. Build your brand with customizable emoticons for the siren emote and lighting effects for your Kraken kitty that will react to audience engagement on your stream. Link with streaming platforms, seamlessly bridge the gap between your Razer gear and Twitch, Streamlabs, and more. Congratulations. Please sign in with your Razer ID or create a new Razer ID to get started. Uh, get started. I think I'm already logged in. Okay, so we're getting into this companion app. Cool. I authorized it. Connections. I want to link you with my Streamlabs too, please. I was really unclear how to open this app. So I just went down here in my type here to search and typed in streamer companion app and then just ran it. Let's go to the dashboard on here. I am connected with Twitch and Streamlabs. So 
at I connected my accounts for that because I use Streamlabs when I stream on Twitch. Let's go to the alerts. Let's customize a follow. Let's just do that. Show an alert on my Chroma devices whenever someone follows my channel. Add Razer streaming devices or Razer Chroma enabled devices to this event. Add a device. Razer Kraken Kitty Edition. It's on Spectrum Cycle. Spectrum cycling now, if someone follows me, or you can do starlight, I guess. Test. Oh, okay, okay. So when someone follows, I can have this be what happens when someone follows me on Twitch. And I can change the colors. So if I want this pretty pinkish purple color, I can have that. But if I want it to flash two colors, I can do pretty pink pretty pinky purple and blue, just to make sure, basically, have Razer Synapse installed. Make sure it's up to date. Then download that streamer companion app. Probably don't close it out, because <laughs> then you're gonna have to type here to search to try and figure out how to pull it back up again, which is what I did. And then if you've already connected your Twitch and your Streamlabs, you can easily start customizing these follows. So I turned off my light, so maybe you guys could see this brighter. Um, this is really cool because you can also make it short and have it end after 10 seconds or after six seconds or four or that. You can even make the duration long. And that is the speed at which they are kind of brightening up and brightening off. Do you know what I mean? So like if we up the seconds on this and I think the limit's like 30 seconds okay I guess it's not that's kind of cool I think I would keep it at short personally just for me and I would want it to be for 10 seconds or you know I don't even have to have that so let's just check them all out there's breathing breathing for a follow Let's see what it looks like if there's two colors. We'll just do green and red. That'll be cute for like the holidays or something too, I feel like. Okay, for breathing, it actually can't be more than one color, I guess, so. I don't, this one, this one, the effect is called fire. Oh, they kind of crackle. That is so pretty. Okay, that's kind of cute for a follow. Oh, I guess you can't change the color for that one. Light one. Um, a static. It'll be static green, I guess. Oh, there's where it's letting me change the color. It, static has it, so it'll go green or red or whatever color you make it for a little while. A wave, let's see what the wave does. Oh, now that's pretty. That one? It does not let me choose colors. A wheel. So I guess it goes like up and around or this way. You can change the direction. I don't know what direction it's going right now. I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Um, so for follows, I think that I want it to do the starlight effect. You know, I just don't really like the wheel one. We're just uh, gonna keep the sub and gifted at wave. Different stuff for different cheers. So one bit, I have my channel set to, you can cheer for one bit. Oh, okay, so for 200 bits, I can have it do something else. And chat message, do we want that? Show an alert on my Chroma devices when, that'd be crazy, it was just going off all the time with chat. I don't wanna do it for chat. Right now, I don't think that's necessary. Host, because sometimes that's what happens. So whenever we get hosted, let's do starlight, the neon green and neon pink. Oh, I was thinking of rating. When I was talking about host, let's just make them the same color. Okay, so that's really cool. So for Streamlabs donations, you can do different donation alerts for different amounts okay so it's just like that's what happens when i get donations okay great 
Awesome. I don't know what this background is. This effect will be this effect will always be played on loop when there are no events present. I don't know what that means. Oh, this effect will be played on loop when there are no events present. Okay. Perfect. So that's where I choose. I was wondering about that. Okay. So this is where I choose the color that I want to be there when nothing is happening. Sorry, I know I'm still in the dark. It's because I was trying to show you the colors. So if I want it to be pink, I can have it be pink. If I want it to be set blue, I can have it be blue. Oh, a pretty gray color. That's neat. I think I'll start with that. <gasps> yes, it totally does. It totally works. Awesome. Wow, okay. <laughs> so cute i can't believe these things this is a test oh the sound on those crazy oh, let's see they're probably kind of faint once you have all the lights on oh no these are still really really bright um i of course don't have them set at like blue or something but Hello? Oh, there, there they go. Now they're working. They're, it's just really, really, like, you cannot see test. them if the lights are on. So that'll just have to be a thing. I guess. Anyway, we got these to work together. That was awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please. Join my Discord if you would like to connect with me or find other people to play games with or be a part of my community and consider leaving me a follow on Twitch or subscribing to my channel here. Thank you so much. I hope that this video was super helpful because I hadn't seen anyone walk through this with this headset yet. So thanks. Bye.